Uh, Will's top story of the day, move over iPhone 15. Here's what iPhone 4 would look like if they try to redo it in 2023. And iPhone 4 reimagined. People have nostalgia for these earlier iPhones, the design language, uh, the scale of them, because mm-hmm. phones got so big. So now people have nostalgia for that. Uh, I was driving around. I saw a billboard for the chicken Big Mac. Oh, yeah. The McDonald's chicken Big Mac. And I was like, you know, they got a winner on their hands there. I don't need to eat it or anything. But you just know. I just know they do because the nostalgia with the Big Mac brand uh. and then just a twist on it. Yeah. I was just like, man, marketing wise, it just, I saw the billboard. It was like, that's right. It's a chicken Big Mac. I was like, oh, you guys. They, they got it. You know exactly what you're doing. Because the chicken sandwiches were on the come up and everybody was talking about sure. it. And they're like, you know what? We got this brand. You may have forgot. It's just a little something called Big Mac. And when you were growing up, you probably heard the words Big Mac. <laughs> The chicken Big Mac. I'm just, see? You see what it's doing to you? Holy crap. 1,100 of milligrams sodium. of sodium, bud. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Of course it is. Why do you think it tastes so good, man? I thing will swell you right up. <laughs> uh, chicken, yeah, listen. So this reminds me of that. The way that people are nostalgic for familiar things from a past life. It just seems to be the way that our experience here on Earth goes. Yeah. And people are nostalgic for other you know, their their memories of how novel these phones felt mm-hmm. when they first picked up an iPhone four, and they're like, "Wait, what? You're using glass? Wait, what? You're using metal? Wait, what? It's all sandwiched together and faster and capacitive and wait, what? I don't need a camera anymore." That was iPhone four. iPhone four was like a was big a leap, changer. man. Yeah, it might have been. A, you might have called it a game changer. Yeah, yeah. It was one of those phones where the. <laughs> what? It's just that you, you. What are the chances that during the presentation they use the word oh, game yeah, changer? Definitely. Guaranteed, yeah. right? Probably like at least 10 times. And this is going to be a game changer. Woo! Woo! But I remember specifically this this phone i was like okay now i have to have this phone i've never had like any opportunity where i can say that but this i remember this time i was like i need it right now i will have this phone like the chicken big mac you will be mine (laughs) you're gonna try that chicken big mac aren't you? i will yeah Yeah, yeah, maybe uh, um maybe on the show i knew you would try that one uh so yeah so this one's reimagined and modernized very slim if any bezel at all, I, I really like that last frame render you had there. Bigger camera modules because, well, bigger is better with cameras. I don't know. People seem to feel that way. That kind of fits, eh? What do you mean, like the know. diagonal? Well, they were somehow it just fits this uh, profile. They did. They did the diagonal in a smaller way, right? With uh-huh. the previous gen, so they're not necessarily against the diagonal. I know it felt weird at first. Now it feels kind of normal. Uh, it does. It, maybe the diagonal is to avoid the stovetop look Mm. because you know that's people's criticism when you have these big discs is it it looks like a stovetop yeah listen this is capacitive i think that people uh i think people could be into something like this no doubt if it's slim enough Uh and uh could there be when you and i have talked extensively about this idea if, if there really can be a small phone in the future if people will really go back to Something a little bit small. I think the only way that's going to happen, Will, uh-huh. is if we start to use our voice more for navigation. If we start to use our voice more and interact with the screen itself less, we may want the the portability of a smaller form factor device. And then the other way is if more stuff happens on our face. And by that, I mean lenses and displays and things that we're wearing that are capable of mimicking a large screen. Then maybe we don't need to lug around a brick mm-hmm. in our pocket. So these are the ways in which the small phone may make a comeback. But the problem is that's too far off. And the most recent experiment, which was the mini iPhone, mm-hmm. well, it went night night, as you're well aware. Yeah, it was really portable. I think it it really worked for some people um, mm. who don't want to carry a big phone and um, just want something portable. So hopefully this comes back and it's like super thin. 
this is a really nice design. Very clean. You want to give some credit to whoever came up with the renders here? Is it G, uh, G8, Mate, Nate? Yeah. Yeah. G8, M8, N8. I don't know how I'm supposed to read that. Interpret it. But um, is yeah. it Gate, Mate, Nate? Maybe. It's His like a license is... plate. It's like when you see one of those license plates and you're trying to figure it out, right? Yeah. His name is Nate. So. Oh. So I got the Nate part. Sick. Yeah. 